I am so excited for this review because we can finally dive into a facet of the car's lore that we haven't tapped into yet. And you guys might know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, you might not. You might have just thought, hey, that looks like a cool racer custom. Let me check it out. But this is from the original Cars teaser trailer from 2005 where they show all the racers in a completely different animation style it literally looks like it's from the 90s and then what we get in cars looks like it's from the 2020s it's kind of crazy how that ended up working out the animation in cars i think sometimes is better than what we get in some of the new stuff but this is the most prominently shown racer in that teaser trailer now none of that footage from that trailer end up getting used at all even though you do have a queen and mater at the beginning at the end you have a bunch of racers going around what probably would have been the motor speedway of the south and we'll put pictures up on the screen as we go through this video about all that stuff but it's incredible how much development occurred from that time to when the movie finally came out in 2006 this racer right here was actually the original concept for Lightning McQueen himself. Yeah, believe it or not guys, McQueen's number was supposed to be 57, and that's how we know that this was indeed the main character when they animated and created that footage. So we're gonna talk about this in some more depth here, but I wanna shout out the creator of this custom, Daro Design. He's done a bunch of stuff that I reviewed on the channel and he clearly did a great job with this before even getting into it. So check out his links in the description below if you want to contact him about any customs. Let's dive right on in here. I'm going to show a bunch of pictures from this teaser trailer just to set the stage for it. You do have McQueen and Mater kind of talking like they normally would at the beginning. So that footage was clearly newer than the footage that they went on the show at the race. And then the footage at the end, again, is McQueen and Mater kind of recapping it. It's like a fourth wall break because they're watching the racers on screen as if that Piston Cup race was just a movie. A lot of the sponsors on these racers that you see do carry on over into the movie like Nitro 8 and Trunk Fresh, but they have different color designs. They're way more detailed. They're so much more advanced. And a bunch of the other sponsors are really cool. I think there's Sludgy in there, Corrosion Seal, Al's Toy Barn, a bunch of other weird stuff. You know what? Sludgy might not be one of them, but Al's Toy Barn, a reference to Toy Story 2, was definitely in there, which is such a cool one. And it would be so awesome if they ever kind of went back to this and released stuff from it. They could totally do that, but obviously it would be a little bit weird, and they're definitely not going to. If they're not going to give us video game cars, they're not going to give us these unreleased tester teaser trailer cars either but a man can hope or you know a man can just commission customs get made that works too and that's what i do because i understand what mattel is not willing to do but hey everyone else in the community can take a stab at it why not so like I said, this was going to be Lightning McQueen because the number is 57 and as stated in multiple sources, the Cars Art the Cars book, you know, developmental kind of orations and quotes about the movie McQueen's number was going to be 57 as a nod to John Lasseter's birth year that was the director of the first Cars movie I think Cars 2 as well he did Cars 2 before he left Pixar then they switched it to 1995 which was the year that the first Pixar movie came out Toy Story 1 I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, Pixar was founded before that, but that's when their first movie came out. So kind of crazy that they decided to switch it up. I'm glad they did because I don't really care at all about the year that the director of the movie was born and really don't care at all. Okay, so I'm glad that they changed it to 95. It's become a much more iconic number than 57 would have. Like, I know we say that now in retrospect, but 95 is just a bigger bolder stronger number than measly 57 i'm sorry for all you guys out there that 57 is your favorite number i'm sorry but 95 is just ugly it's on a whole nother tier now for whatever reason people call this car joel mcqueen it's so funny but that is 
Just a fan-made name, I'm pretty sure. There is no credence to that at all. It's such a funny, random name. Joel McQueen. Man, it sounds like someone just came up with that at the dollar store. It literally is like dollar store McQueen. Yeah, hey, we got McQueen at home. It's Joel McQueen. <laughs> he does kind of look like a Joel. I'll give him that. He's certainly not lightning. You know, he doesn't have the flames and the bolt on him. He's got a seal on him, which is the sponsor, and I haven't even said yet in this video, Corrosion Seal. That's basically what we're reviewing today is a Corrosion Seal racer, and it's such a creative sponsor that didn't end up making it into the final version of the movie, obviously, but of course, seal, like when you go ahead and seal something shut, well, there's also the animal, which is just so awesome that they incorporated that on here. You could see the seal that they used here. Such a derpy looking seal. Literally looks like he's from Finding Dory. The one that those two bigger seals like forced off the rock. Oh my God. What was his name? Gerald? Oh my God. I can't remember his name. He had a funny name too. But yeah, that's what this seal reminds me of. And he's holding a actual corrosion seal that has the initial CS into it. So it's just a cool design. Not fully developed as you could see. It's pretty bare bones, but... I mean, it was a bare bones trailer. I do like the expression that we got going on here. And it's also very interesting. This model is the Cal Weathers model, like from Cars 3. This is what, you know, Cal Weathers or Ernie Gearson and all those other guys. This is the same model that they had. This is actually probably an Ernie Gearson based on the mouth, unless he did some work on the mouth, because all the other ones are smiling, I believe, right? Yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. Todd Marcus is another one. I'm not quite sure, but... The model in the teaser trailer looks pretty close to this, and obviously it is slightly different. They never end up releasing anything of that model. It's like the kind of black sheep, like the unknown twin or the unknown sibling of the stock car models. You have the three main ones in the first movie, and then there was the one in the teaser trailer that just kind of got shafted, poor guy. But yeah, they do kind of end up looking like the Cal Weathers model from Cars 3, and so it worked out nicely to allow us to make this custom, because beforehand we really would have to use something a little bit less accurate. But yeah, it's got a nice expression looking off to his right there. He does have black wheels, light year tires, and the contingency sponsors were a little bit different on these. You have Piston Cop, Mood Springs, No Stall, Little Torquey Pistons, Gasprin. Can't read that one. Clutch 8 and RPM. Not the clearest decals there. But yeah, this is kind of how it looked in the trailer. Definitely a different assortment from what we ended up getting on Lightning McQueen and how they're all a little bit more spread out. You do have the 57 there and a nice font, white shadow, black outline, yellow. Clean, fits with the logo. And the weird thing is that these racers have more contingency sponsors on the back, so they kind of split them up a little bit. You have Nitrate, Revolting, Octane, Vitaline, Leakless, Gaskets, and Clutch Aid there. So it looks like Clutch Aid is on here twice. But yeah, very interesting there. Kind of a bland design, but made a little bit better by the spreading out of the contingency sponsors. And what's also interesting to me is uh, I forgot my train of thought. Oh my gosh, jeez, that's not good. Oh yes, I remember. Oh yes, it's not really interesting. It's just the fact that the decals, I always have to say it guys, when we go over contingency sponsors, the decals are so much better than what we get from Thailand now. I just always have to comment on it because it just brings it up into my mind. You can see on the back here, you got the taillights and all that, nothing really going on. But all these designs were very bare bones. You can't really get a good look at a bunch of them, but you can tell if you slow it down a little bit that they are, you know, pretty lazy designs. And I honestly feel like that footage could have been made in like 2003 and they just decided to release it for some footage father. Like they just kind of wanted to brew something up and put out, but they had no intention. Like they knew when they released that, that that would not have been the final cut because it would have taken a long long time to switch everything around to get to where it ended up being and the time between the teaser trailer and the movie release is not that long really cannot believe how they changed around like trunk fresh literally grew up like 20 years it almost feels like they are the 
previous generation of racers. It's kind of a cool way to think about it, but it's almost like we're peering into like a 1995 Piston Cup race. Like that's what it feels like. It's actually really cool to think about it like that. But yeah, just check it out. I mean, I'll maybe even link it in the description below. The teaser trailer for Cars 1 is such a vibe. The teaser trailer for Cars 2, when they're all surrounded by the lasers, is also pretty sweet. The teaser trailer for Cars 3, I remember being so ominous, but that one at least is much, much more similar to how it ended up being in the movie, if you guys know what I'm saying. Now, as you guys stare at the base here, you can see that this is a 2018 car whenever it was made. Jared's got his nice logo there on the bottom. He used screws to put this back together. All cars are put together with rivets from the factory, but when you make a custom, you have to drill those out to separate the body from the base, from the tires, from the interior pieces, to paint it all and all that. And obviously, having screws to put stuff back together is a lot more common than having a rivet gun or whatever it may be to re-rivet it, which would be very difficult to do to have it down to that size anyways. So yeah, guys, that is Corrosion Seal. And I just want to do a quick comparison here. I mean, obviously they're super different, but it's fun to show the original design for Lightning McQueen, what could have been Lightning McQueen and what obviously ended up being him. You know, Corrosion Seal just isn't iconic enough. It's a fun, cute little side sponsor, but it really can't hold. You know, it doesn't fit a main character sponsor, in my opinion, whereas Rusty's is so unique. It's got kind of its own slogan. Obviously, it's a little funny. Like, it's kind of like tongue-in-cheek. And it creates the whole base of the Rusty cars for McQueen. It's really so genius how they ended up doing it. Like, Hostile Takeover Bank... The reason why that is Chick Hicks' sponsor is because, well, Hostile Takeover. I mean, it fits the character. Dynaco, again, it just makes sense for the king. Like, that is just kind of like the grandfather of all companies in the Cars universe. And, you know, has even appeared in some other Pixar movies. Like, so that's just how cool it is. Corrosion Seal, it's like, eh, it's cool. But it can't be the main sponsor for a main character. But, hey, maybe it could have been. Maybe if a few things went a different way, we could have had a Corrosion Seal, Lightning McQueen, and Rusty's could have never come to be, come to pass. That would have been wild. But I do have a couple other custom racers here. We have the Texas T Racer I reviewed a couple years ago. Here's one that I'll be reviewing in the near future here for Motor Co. Some of you guys might know what Motor Co. is. And of course, the classic, The King and chick hicks over here so that is all i have for you guys thank you as always for watching it's an absolute pleasure recording these videos i hope you guys have been enjoying them this upcoming weekend should have a good slate for you obviously the hunt last weekend episode 27 i believe it was that is crazy but thank you guys for the support on that what the hell i don't have anything else for you guys so it's time to check out i'll see you guys soon for another video bye now